Right, we're going to apologise for the, for the bus road not turning up. It must have took a wrong turning out there somewhere. But I'd like to say a big thank you to these two lads for, for giving the Friday night up. I've got a few questions to ask them, and when I'm done, we'll open things up for the audience to ask any questions they may have. Your mum and dad get something out of your hair, Yeah, probably, yeah. Your mum loves asking me questions. <laughs> Let's start with junior football, lads. How did your junior football go? Were you, were you as prolific then as, as you are now? Either one, yeah. I didn't hear the first thing. <laughs> Pay attention, Andrew. <laughs> your junior football, were you as, how did it go? Were you as prolific then as you are now? Uh, to be honest, I would probably score more goals then than now, but it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I've played for the same team for about seven years, since I was six years old, and just gone from there. Played from the front from the start, never played any other positions, to be honest. It was a strike there. Scored a few goals then. Yeah, I think I think to be fair myself, I think I used to score more goals when I was a kid. Well, like when I'm talking like young, young, like seven, eight, probably younger than that to be fair. Um, used to play for a Sunday league team in Hartlepool called Greetham. Um, that was where I first started. Then got picked up by Hartlepool. I was at the Borough Development Centre for a little bit as well. Um, and then just went all the way through through at Hartlepool until I was sixteen. And then I was released for being too small. Uh, shock. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then just sort of bounced around. Um, there was like I think there's like the Durham County or Durham FA League or something. I think I played for played for Wellington um, under 18s then Stockton, and then that's how I eventually come in, come into Stockton. Hey, up there. Right. Um, yeah, and then that's where I started sort of men's football in Stockton. Um, so yeah. Was your, was your football in Romania, Andrew? Did you yeah, I mean, football? I played for seven seasons for the same team. It was called Matiano. Yeah. Obviously, you wouldn't have heard about them. And then I was full time for three years. I got picked up by an academy. Um, and I came over here for football, to be honest, because my dad was working here already. And then the scouts said, we've got a chance for you to go there. And I said, yeah, because my dad was here. Uh, so I came a trial, did a few teams and stuff, and I ended up at Sunderland for a bit, but I didn't get a contract, so that was like last time I played full-time football when I was there. And then I had some more trials for teams and stuff, but I never really got any confidence back after that. Did I, have you won any trophies with you on your football? On the uh, sideboard, full of them, please. Uh, I mean, is that a northern? <laughs> I, 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 do you know what? I can't even remember. I'm trying to think back. Uh, probably a couple of tournaments on a Sunday. Maybe he's got to uh, got the finals of junior football. School won won a lot of things with the school, like town cups, and I think we won a county cup once. Um, no, not a lot. Mm. Do you want to go to trophies, Andrew? I mean, juniors. I I want to feel like. Uh, I don't know the age. I won when I was under 16 for the college. We won the, like the Premier Division or something in college. That was good. And I was playing for Durham Counties then, for Durham County. Uh, and we won the league for the first time in ages, and that was really good, to be honest. And we got to the National League final as well for that. And the like, Counties, it's called Counties final, which we lost, but it was still a nice. Which teams did you support when you were growing up? Oh. Liverpool? No. Hartley <laughs> Pool. through and through me. Used to be a season ticket holder when I... Because, like I say, when you say about winning stuff with junior football, like when I was at, when I was at Hartley Pool, I was there from 7 to 16, and it was all just friendly-based stuff. Like, you played on a Sunday, it was like... Uh, but you in the league then, John? Who? Hartley Pool. Yeah, we were, we were flying then. We were in League One then. Um, but we never used to play any, like, competitions, any, like... Um, tournaments, there was no league, it was just friendly based football, so it was difficult to, to, you know, and at that point I wasn't allowed to play for like a Sunday league team, so I was uh, I was scuppered, but then like you said, I had a season ticket at, at Hartlepool for, for it must have been five, six years. Um, we went every every Saturday, and then I used to play on a Sunday, and I started playing on a Saturday, and uh, I remember we used to, so we used to kick one of the under 18s, we used to kick off at, at half one. I think so. We'd get done by like quarter to three, and we'd like me, me, me dad would blitz us over to to Hartlepool. We'd go in at half time, 
Um, that's how dedicated I was to watching Artie Pool and now look where we are. Only a few leagues above us. <laughs> which, which was your team, Andrew? I always supported Steaua Bucharest. Probably heard of them. Steaua Bucharest? So, I mean, they won the Champions League in 1987. So, yeah, that's what I support now, to this day. Were well, you footballing heroes when you were growing up? You're not going to say Matty Robson, are you? <laughs> 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 to be fair, when I signed, and, uh, Matty, Matty was, uh, Robbo, he, he was eye open, like, he was scary good, just shows you how good the standard is. For me, it was always Gerard. I always, I used to be a, back when I was like younger, and I was, I wasn't as, as, as small compared to everyone else. I used to play centre mid, so Gerard was, Gerard was me, my hero growing up. Was like. Mickey Barron there then, or is that that before you? Uh, no, Mickey Barron was there when I was, uh, when I was supporting, but like when I was going to watch pool. Yeah, he was stalwart right back, Mickey Barron. Aye. Who was your footballing heroes when you were little, Andrea? I mean, probably for every Romanian football player, it's going to be Georgi Hadji. Uh, so I always looked up to him. You could just players. make somebody up, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, any strikers were Van Persie. Yeah, was famous Romanian football, footballer, Hadji. Yes. Yeah. I'm stuck now, right? You said that. You just said that. Come on, Will. Wait, you tell me to Pay attention at the goal. Your mic's aren't loud enough. <laughs> So how did you make the move from junior football into adult football, which, which was your first club? Uh, so, Hartlepool, you told me. So I just touched on it there. Well, not really. I, I only played junior football at Hartlepool. And then I went into under-18s football um, at Willington. And that was only because of the coach. Like, I knew someone, so I went into under-18s football at 16. And you can obviously imagine how the height difference at that point was quite uh, marked. Um, and then... Uh, to, uh, just purely, they, 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 that that coach left, and it was a bit far to travel really just for to to under eighteen football. So close to me was Stockton. Um, I knew someone there, I think, and ended up getting getting in there. And then towards the end of the, the year, when I was like seventeen, it was Mickey who was still there now. Um, he done well. He put me on the bench a few times, and and went back the pre season after. And then I was sort of in and around it. Um, and then yeah, that was. Was it really all sort of playing men's football at that point? For me, it was 16 as well. Uh, I knew a lad in college and he knew someone from Durham City, and that's where I played in the Northern League Division 1 when Durham City were doing a bit better. Obviously, now they're not doing great, but that's where I was to start with. And just going to the goals for me, Not really, because I, I, I only played for four seasons there and I was getting in and out of the team because they were doing quite well back then. I think it was like six, seven years ago. Um, not even longer than that. I'm 25 now, but yeah, that's where I started. And have either of you won any trophies in senior football? I know we're going to this season, but have you won them in the past? <laughs> so we won the um, the FA Sunday Cup with the Ardwick. That was when I was 20, 21. So we played the final at um, Bramall Lane. Um, in terms of like full on silverware, not much. Promotion from non League Two, that was that was a thorn of me. Um well one you could say I won non League two and non League uh one was Stockton but I I was very much like a bit part player at that point. I was only 18, 19 and wasn't really established so I suppose it could be on the could be on the C V but I, I wouldn't really count it if, if someone asked me, <laughs> to be honest. I'm the same. Uh the only thing that I won it was Northern League Division Two, we got promoted with Team Rotumia. They're not playing in the National League, uh, in the Northern League anymore. But that's what I—that's probably the biggest achievement in terms of senior level. level. So how did the pair of you come to sign for Shelton? I, I know you came here after a good performance against us, didn't you? Yeah, um, I think that the, uh, it was like Christmasish. Um, to the side, the time we come up um, with Thornby, first game of the season. Was here and we got absolutely slapped eight one. I remember that. Um, and then we played, we played his again. Um, the game here, you were marking Matty Robson, weren't you? Yeah, he scored the he scored the first goal as well. I mean, to be fair, he was nowhere near me, so I'll I'll not take take blame for that one. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, it pl played well against you at home. I think it was a two two draw. I think if I remember rightly, I think Zach Atkinson scored scored a couple. 
and I think an old keeper, I think. No, but I did well. Um, and then I, I heard there were rumours of potentially them like children putting seven days in at that point. And then I think we played against um, played Bishop for Thornaby after that game between now and then. I don't know if Bobby came and watched and anyway, I scored and then that was it. And then but you, you came here after the game at Thornaby though, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Not the one here. Not the one you here. You were one of the match that day, weren't you? Yeah, uh, yeah. Which I'll take up against Matty Robson, you'll take that all day long, won't you? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. How do you come here then, Andre? I, I did, the, did the manager know you previously? I've never met Chris before, no. Uh, I mean, I've had a good season last season. Uh, and I've, I've had quite a few teams get in contact, and I spoke to a few coaches from the Northern League and the League above. And then, to be honest, I wasn't like sure about anyone at that point. It was quite getting quite close to pre-season, and then the last phone call was from from Chris, um, and we just had really good conversations. We spoke, I think, two or three times. Uh, we got on straight away, and I thought his mentality was right for me. So I just said, and to be honest, Sheldon, I, I always knew about Sheldon. They, they were doing well. Obviously, they were a league above last season. I live in Spedimo, so. I'm close to here, so they were always on my radar, to be honest. And then when I spoke to Chris, I couldn't refuse it really because he sounded like what I want from a coach. And obviously, the team wants to do well, so, and that's what I want. So I thought it was a good match. So how do you how do you prepare on a match day? What, what do you eat, knowing you've got a game at three o'clock? <laughs> uh, I eat the same thing all the time. By, by preparing, you just don't go to the pub. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that always helps. Um, don't know, I, I, I was speaking to Alex White about this actually the other day, and I don't know if you asked him the same thing when he did the talk, because he's very, like, superstitious, Alex. Um, does the same thing all the time. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm quite as bad as him, like, he does everything for the same, like, to the table. I always sort of eat, eat the sim like, a similar time. Like, it's easier this year, obviously, everywhere being local, sort of, you're setting off around about similar time. So I always eat about, probably about 12 out of 12. I always have beans on toast. <laughs> um, Is that uh, just to annoy them in the dressing room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they do. Uh, <laughs> I'm back for that. Just the first one in the bathroom. <laughs> Straight in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I always have beans on toast. Probably have a coffee at some point. And stay off the beers the night before. That's about it. I've got a similar routine. I mean, I eat the same thing every time. But otherwise, I feel like I'm a good scorer. I'm going to play terrible, to be honest. Um, I have to clean my boots the night before. Otherwise, I don't feel right. Um, and then in the morning, I always eat at like 12 o'clock. Or it just depends how far we play. But it's got to be three hours before the kickoff. Really? Uh, and I just have like a weird oats, eggs and banana pancake every single day. Day. Every single, before every single game, <laughs> yeah, and it's actually quite nice. <laughs> I try not to be to be too superstitious, to be fair, because I don't, yeah. I don't like if something. I always think if something ever happened where I couldn't do it, like I wouldn't like that. So I try to be as free, free flowing <laughs> as I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much the same. Like to be honest, but yeah. just I like that food before the game. I just feel right. I've got the, like the right, the right energy from it. So. That's the main thing. Have any of you played with anyone famous, either before or after they made the name? Um, You're not going to mention Matty Robson again, are you? <laughs> I will, yeah. Uh, Matty Robson, I will. Um, well, there's obviously Robbo. Uh, uh, obviously, there's um, Ben Godfrey, who's at Everton now. He, he pl played against him a lot. For, he was at York when we, were, when we were growing up. Played against him quite a lot. Played in the same district team as, as Harry Chapman, who's now at Bradford. He was a very, very good player. Um, over and above that. Uh, no. Like used to play grow up like growing up we used to do a day release um at, at um like Maiden Castle and we used to train like close to the first team and sometimes if someone was like coming like coming back from injury or whatever and they were training with the with the, the, the YTSs they would they would we'd play against them. In training and stuff, but yeah, that was when we were doing well in League One. Um, back those were the days, um, <coughs> but no one, no one sort of massive reason. You played with anybody famous, have you? Uh, 
I wouldn't say like hugely famous. I mean, I've played with Charlie Pushkash, he's playing for Romania, it's national team. He's had, he was at Brighton for a bit uh, and he's playing for Parma now, I think, or something. I played with him uh, and I've played with someone before. He was playing first division in the academy. He's got short to play for Selva Crest, starting every game now, he's doing really well, to be honest. He's a midfielder, but I don't think he's, he's no one's like massively famous. So you're both here tonight as our leading goal scorers this season. Do you want to, do you want to tell us about what you think is your, your best goal this season? You've got a few to pick from. Yeah, best goal this season. Uh, I think you'd obviously have to say the, the one against RCA at home was pretty good. Um, quite far out. It's quite a few of them. Yeah, I think, I think I'm that one, I'd, I'd probably say it'd be out of three, I think, it would be that one. The first one at Carlisle Way, um, or the second one at Carlisle. That was a good one. I remember pulling it up at the time. Yeah, yeah. So the, 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 the pro I'd probably say that. Did you Did you mean it? Which one? <laughs> None of them. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't mean them. They just end up in the top bench. <laughs> so yeah, I'd probably say one of them. One of them three. I, I'd think. Yeah. I mean, for me, probably. Against Whitley Bay, the header is probably not the best one I scored, but it was in a good in a situation where we needed yeah. a goal. Good time. Just, it? Yeah, it was good time again. Then we really got going after that, and we won that game, which was a hard game. Probably like the nicest one of us against the Red Card, probably. Mm. Start the season, you you told me you don't get many headers. I know. Quite a well, few, I, should have, you? I should have had a few more, to be honest. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to sell it. <laughs> I, I should have had it. I should have had that before. But I, yeah, I mean, that's my training goes for you, to be honest. So because he's got someone putting them on his head now. <laughs> <laughs> right. So getting past this season, it's, come on, you can go right back to childhood if you want, boys. What's the best goal you've ever scored? Oh my God, best goal I've ever scored. <laughs> oh. I think you know what it take me back. We played a school game on a Saturday once because it was a it was a national league competition and uh, a national uh, competition, and I think we got it was like the deadline that had to be played and it kept getting called off. So it was at Macmillan Academy, which is uh, I don't know if you ever like drove on the A sixty six onto the S. Uh, so from the A nineteen on the A sixty six was like a school like down at the bottom. I remember it was like I think we were like one nil down or one one or something, and it was like obviously quite. Like a local like rivalry really you know i remember we were only in year seven so i've only been 12. Uh, the pitch wasn't very big but to me back then it was <laughs> i think i, I just remember because i played on the right and i think i cut in like just after the halfway line this ball's just like bowled up about a foot off the floor so i just lashed it with my left foot from like just inside the half and it just like looped straight over the keeper all the lads like patting on in the corner of his class. Yeah. <laughs> Back home on the mini bus, doing the fruit shoots. Come on, you must have got one better than that. <laughs> so, no, I don't really score like amazing goals because I'm a striker that's in the box a lot. But I mean, I did score one good goal. In, I played one Sunday league match last season because it was struggling. So I just helped out. And I scored a chip, chip for about 40 yards out. And that's probably the best goal I've ever scored. To be <laughs> I've never even tried it before. But yeah, that's the one. You keep winning the monthly online votes, Pussy. I know you're playing well, but there is any truth in the room with that you keep round your mates up to vote with? I've got about 60 Twitter accounts now. <laughs> <laughs> all, all on the vote. No, it's not. Uh, it's it's it mostly, to be honest, it's mostly the lads that, um, that, that it's like, it's the lads in my group of mates that take the, take the mick out of everything, to be honest. Like, as soon as anything goes on Twitter, like they've been giving me a bit of stick for, for this tonight and every time someone goes on they'll, they'll bang the, the, the interview or whatever in the WhatsApp and I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm pretty sure they all voted for Andre in the last one. And then, <laughs> and then Ray, they're like, oh, let's all vote for like, not Posty. It's like, oh, it's happening. But, but yeah. Have you done your singing initiation yet, Andre? I did, yes. Oh, I was going to get to do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy, I like singing, but I'm absolutely terrible at it. So what did, what did you sing? Barry. Mm. And I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to embarrass myself for the second time. <laughs> I, I know you have, but I'm sure you've both played against Sean in the past. So I've hardly really scored any goals against Sean that we'll remember when you mention it. I don't think I've, I haven't played against children 
that many times. Uh, no, I mean obviously one one time we we got absolutely slapped. So yeah, I scored against Shilden actually for Whitley Bay. Uh, just before he got promoted, I think the season before he got promoted, and it was quite a good goal actually. Brandon Tobbins on this side of the pitch, we put through and just try, struck it around the top corner. Talking about Whitley Bay, when we played them here recently, I was still with one of their lads, and he called you Andy, not Andre. Is he, do you go by Andy? No, I hate that. Just call me Andre. I don't know why he's coming It's up to him, I thought he's been having a son all this time. They need a vedenis. I'm just writing that down. Eh? <laughs> That's what we call now. <laughs> What's the biggest stadium you've played in? Uh, be either the Riverside or Bramall Lane. Probably, I don't know what the capacity is of each of them, but I've been getting stick off the lads at home now because I, I always say that I've played at Bramall Lane, so now I do whenever I can. I'll mention it. <laughs> uh, Probably one of the one of those. I don't know what I don't know what capacity. I don't know which. I don't know. Would you, would you imagine Bramalian's bigger than the Riverside? That might be wrong. Probably. It's full of. Any wonder? The biggest one I've played on is probably Rico Arena, Coventry City, Coventry. Is, uh, we played uh, the the Rock County. Well, that's going to be good from So you've got one over on him there, haven't you? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> and, what, one, and what's the biggest crowd you've played in for that? <laughs> Not including tonight. Yeah, I'm pretty tonight sure he won't be playing for sure. <coughs> no, it's probably, probably, uh, I don't know, it might be, you know, like one, one, one of the boxes. How, how many was in Bramall then that day? Oh, don't even know, couldn't tell you. Half of the hard wicket stopping, I think. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'd probably say I'd probably say it would be one of the Boxing Day games that we usually get against, like Stockton. Yeah. Um, probably. Uh, there was, there was 40. Oh, do you know what it might be actually? You know the Vars game when it was COVID? When um, we played Stockton away? Probably then. I think there were about 1,400, 1,500 or something. It wasn't supposed to be many in. <laughs> yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. We're all, uh, all, we're all, all socially uh, distanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, probably not. I don't know. One of them. Probably 700, eight hundred. never really played in front of the Probably Andrea, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Three people. Difficult question, but who's the best player you've played with? Don't know. It's hard to answer that because everyone's everyone has their own qualities. It just depends what position. Depends what position. Like yeah, like he's going to embarrass you and say you. Nah, he can't do. He can't do. Um, I don't know really, you obviously like Robbo was, was wicked, but like obviously coming towards the end of his career, like um Billy's in in, in his own right of what he does. Um Che Little was scary good when he when he uh when he turned it on. Um so yeah, I, I couldn't give I couldn't give you one name. I couldn't give you one name. I'm in the same boat because it's different positions for me, you kind of really have like like he's definitely going to be like the best striker, the best midfielder, the best defender. Kind of so a, a similar question: Who's the best player you've had the pleasure of marking or being marked by? Uh, well, yeah, again, Robbo would definitely be up there playing against children. If you took his picture off, I would be lost with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> love the man. <laughs> um, being marked by, like, to, to be fair, there's like there's plenty of good. And he good like fullback, especially in the league ball we played last year, like really sharp. Um, don't let you you know, don't give you give you any space on the ball or um the, the, the right right up your backside when you get the ball. Um I don't know, again, it's, it's difficult. I can't give you a name. I think I don't know the name of because we're playing against people from Manchester way or Lincoln yeah. or whatever, like I don't know the name of I couldn't tell you his name. Was probably one of the best seven and a half performances I had against me. He was playing for concert, but I can't remember what he was called. So concert? Like, yeah, he was, play, he was really good to be honest. He definitely had me in his pocket that game. I can't remember. I don't know why he scored. I've only played him once. 
Oh, but I send Rafa, come support it. I'm wrapping my brains now. I don't think it's there now. There's one big, there's one big lad, isn't there now, Wolves? Um, but he was really good, like, I don't think it's there now. Not there now. It was there a couple of seasons ago. Who's been the biggest influence on your career? Uh, I'd, pro I'd probably say my dad, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Yeah. That sounds really bad. Like, I knew what you were going to say, actually. Everybody says to dad. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It would be me, dad, me mum, and dad, like, ferried me all over when I was a kid. And, and they still do. Yeah, <laughs> still do, <laughs> right? Yeah. My mum looks after me, like, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say my dad, apart, apart, like, aside from me dad, again, I couldn't pick one because each, like, different managers have different, different sort of, they still different things on you, like, um, Really old school manager at Thornaby, and then to Bobby, who again is quite quite old school in his in his like man management, but again really lets you go and, and play and do your thing, and and, and Hoodie in that fact as well, like both top 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 lads, and then um, and then like Chris now is very like fluid, uh, fluid like lets you you go and express yourself and and play at your own strength. So the biggest is definitely be that like. Same for me, definitely biggest. My parents, they've always supported me. When I was moved away from them when I was 13, you know, sending money over, buying me football boats, you know, pushing me to do well and stuff. But in terms of coaches, I had some great, I had a really, really good coach in the academy. And he's done well for me. And to be honest, to see me, I never, Chris is probably the best I've had. And it's definitely made me enjoy my football again, for sure. Probably answer my next question. Of the t all the teams you've played for, which manager has impressed you? Who was the best tactician? Best tactician? Mm, yeah, Most Northern League managers just pick a team and send you out, don't you? Yeah, no, yeah, no I've, def I've definitely not had that in, in my time. But again, different, it's like horses for courses. Like, Bobby's like, he's class at, at you know, man for man, like everyone had run through a brick wall for him like the way that he treat you and the way that he speaks to you and stuff is, is really really good like um and then like you said chris chris is more um probably um I don't know what I'm for, but he, he, he looks at the, the tactical side of it maybe he's a bit more instead of um being like let's go you know be better than your man and like it doesn't matter what shape we'll play we'll, we'll win sort of looking at how we can maybe deploy our strengths over over, over theirs rather than worried about about what they're going to do. I think you know, possibly the year before we, we maybe sat in a bit more and caught teams on the break. Like I always remember Dunstan away last year, when we, and the, I'm sorry, the year before, um, when we literally like, really won 2-0. Two, two I think we had about 20% of the ball. Like That sort of epitomises us that year. We were like really hard work and we grabbed us all the time. As I think this year you can see more free flow. Are you sticking me, Chris? Definitely, definitely the best manager I've had in this league. When he, when he watches this, Andre, you'll be captain next week. He'd go his band up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just being honest. Uh, I've had some good managers. A um, couple of really good managers, but I kind of take it away from Chris. Um, and to be honest, Craig and, and Prof, you know, they, they're great. They work really well as a team, them three together. And they make it really enjoyable for the lads, I think. I think there's no one that doesn't enjoy being here. Has either of you ever watched professional football or has your career gone in the way of that? What would you mean? Professional football. I mean, the, you know, the big mumby bummies. <laughs> you mean like going to watch it? Yeah. Like going, two going, games? Yeah. Oh, I struggle now with, with footy. Yeah. And like you said, around us, there's only really... Obviously, there's, there's pools, which I'd love to go and watch, but they kick off at three o'clock on a Saturday most weeks. Um, you'll never get a ticket for Newcastle. And you know, you're the team for and I'll, I'll, I'd rather uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have any time. I'm just always doing stuff, always busy. And obviously, on a weekend, I play football myself. And yeah, but if I had a chance, I would go watch Newcastle. But like, boss, it's like That's impossible. That's a good choice, to, Andrew. It's impossible to go watch them. Yeah, we did go to a Champions League game at City. Um, me and my girlfriend, the other yeah. Um, she got tickets and went down on the Wednesday. It was it was good. That was the last. I think that was the last live game I went to. That was like 20, 2021. Yeah. Watch it all the time. Like, always, yeah, always sat in front of the telly watching it. But 
struggle to get the get the live game. I know we haven't played the team that's top of the league yet this season, but who would you say is the best team we played this season? Um, best team we played this season. I was really impressed with Whitley Bay the first half. I thought we were really, really good in the first half. But they were we, good all but apart from the last 20 minutes, weren't they? We dealt with them really well and then we just put them to bed. Um, his at home really impressed me as well. I would say they were the best team we played because I think we were off. We were off. We went on like, at the races that day. Um, I'd say at the minute, yeah, probably, probably Whitley Bay. But like you say, I mean, we've had tighter games, but I don't think we we did, did that. Um, we've not done as well against them teams. That's what I'm trying to say. I think. But... Gisborne looked good. Whitley Bay did for quite a long time. Though Rick Athletic looked good. Yeah, you must be looking forward to playing Bishop. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Be a great game. Oh. Class side, and like you said, it's, um, there'll be a few there being a, a local derby. I think, especially on Boxing Day. If it, hopefully, fingers crossed, if it's if it's on. Um, but yeah, it'll be, be be a really good game. That Who's the best team we played this season, Andre? On the ball, I thought when we played Moral Rangers at home, they were really good on the ball. Uh, I think they weren't as good on, when we played them away, but definitely at home, Moral Rangers on the ball. And Whitley Bay, yeah. Whitley Bay and the Red Car. Because I think against Kisbro we had we had really, really, really poor day. And then when we started coming to our senses in the second half, we it was only one team that was going to win if, if that was going to happen. Yeah. I think like you say, the couple of couple of draws we've had recently at home like against Gisbro and against Red Car. Those games are ten minutes longer. Yeah. I think there's only there's only one team that we're gonna we're going to win them like just a they're all really fit side that's what you say I mean we come good at the end won't we yeah yeah oh, definitely. definitely that's what we're working on all the time yeah. we, we never stop running through yeah, there's a reason like we, yeah. Yeah, we, we don't you know choose the nights we're, we work hard like we're, we're run to be fair so I'd expect us to be quite fit have either of you played in a in a televised game either, either live or recorded you, you mentioned one earlier didn't you uh, no, I, I don't think it was. I don't think it was televised. It was definitely got a lot of them recorded. Now, obviously, I think it might be streamed. I don't know if it was like televised. I've never had the chance. Like, I, I would like to, but I've never had the chance. Like, hopefully, it's off with. So, <laughs> which it then? So the game recently where you got you got booked for how can we call it? Pussy when you fall over. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> if that was on the telly, would they resend that booking? The, the one against Borough Rangers away, absolutely not. The one here at home against uh, North Stockton, one million percent. I couldn't believe he gave it. And I think he gave it because we just had a pen. He, he, like, he, he didn't give the pen because we just had one. And I think he wanted to make a bit of a name of himself. One of the coaches said afterwards, the one that he got booked for, said it was a definite penalty. Yeah, yeah. No way it was a book. They said that. Yeah, yeah. Was one of their coaches. They said that. I've said the same yeah. thing. He was like, that was more of a penalty than. I know you're just young lads, but do either of you have any plans to go into coaching stroke management in the future? I don't know. Um, I, always, I always say the lads, so some of the lads are, uh, like, are from like, the group match more, they play all of them play on a Sunday and they play for like two different teams. And I always say that I'd like to go and like maybe, you know, manage or take over one of them purely so I can probably shout with them from the, from the sideline. I think I like to try my hand movies but like not I don't know it's a big commitment isn't it? I've seen I, always said, you know, I couldn't I couldn't be a manager because I'd pick all the nice lads and, and <laughs> I'd leave the good players out. But, 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 it'd get you, it'd get get you nice a long lads, way yeah. that I think it'd get you a long way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could do it I, I, I did think about this and I would like to stay involved with football but I don't think as a manager I think I could be an assistant manager like just join in and mm. really get a session in for the lads get involved stuff like that so I don't think I could be a manager just I'm too nice I feel bad for leaving people out and stuff <laughs> so I'd rather not <laughs> I think it's quite a hard job you know it is you're a physio person I am would you, would you consider being a Northern League physio when your career ends? Is that something you'd fancy? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. So, 
We'll just move on from that. Do you, you want to take us through the clubs you've played for in the past? Uh, yeah. I pretty much know York a bit. You, come on, you tell us. Yeah, it's not very, it's not the longest one. Still a few years in it yet. Uh, so I touched on it earlier in terms of like adult, I like usually want adult football. It just started out at Stockton. Um, and then went from there to, to Thornaby because I was I was at a time where I was quite young and I it I was easy to take out of the team and then sometimes like do well and then I'd be back on the bench and then they started you know the, the way that Stockton went went really like up quite quick and then started to bring a lot of lads in from League Above and it sort of it meant that I had to move on really to get game time and then moved on to Thornaby we were they were in Northern League Two at the time like mid table. And then we like just finished mid table that season and the next season we went up and then that was the season where Shielding came in and been been here ever since. The rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've started for Durham City, I was there for a season, um, moved on to Team Northumbria, won the uh, North League Division 2 for them. But then the team got I don't know, just, just the university didn't want to like, get involved with no league football anymore. So we all moved on. I'm I remember well when they when they folded, because we were supposed to play them in the FA Cup, they were a bye. Yeah, to be honest, it was a really good group of lads. Most of them, some of them played for here. However, not Aiden played here, he was in the sea with me at Team North. Then from there, I went to Blythe for a season. Uh, Blythe's did, you, did you get a chance to play? Uh, I got on a few times, yes, but then I ended up getting loaned out. Uh, Dan McGuire was just flying. Was, I think he scored like 26 goals that season and um, they finished sixth. They were even going to the playoffs. I think they won their first playoffs and then they lost in the, like the second in the second game. Uh, yeah, I was upset down on loan to Whitby Bay after that. Uh, then I played there at Whitby Bay as well on loan. From there, I went to concert because I knew the manager and. I went there, then Newton Aycliffe for two seasons during COVID. I was in, I was in and out of the team, and I thought I was in my, like, I thought I was good enough to play uh, week in week out. So I went to Tower Law, and obviously now I'm here at Chile. So I've had a few other league teams. Like many of the clubs you've both played for in the past. At the road where you have to come into the bar after the games. I'm not overly sure, but I think it's in the contract there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not, it's not in the. I don't think it's in the contract. It's in the. It's in the players' code of conduct or something. Yeah. Um, you get fined. How we get fined? That. That's that's the main thing. Yeah. Who, who does the fine and nowadays? Really, really. Doing it really well. To be fair, I thought I was going to have to take it on, and then and Billy stepped up and he's smashing. It, to be fair, I'm glad he did because the stuff that he does, I could not do. I just forget. <laughs> does, he, does he present his Warren card when he's <laughs> really good? Yeah, um, no, I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think it was definitely wasn't. Uh, I wanna be. I don't think it was. It's it's nice for fans to be able to, to speak to the players after the game. You know, I'm sure many fans have shaken your hand and patted you on the back, but have any of them ever come up to you after the game and said you were rubbish today? <laughs> No. No. <laughs> to be fair, it's probably the managers, man. Keeping it down. <laughs> yeah, and soon we go to four to six, you know, the door. But no, 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 I'd like to say I don't think like, the people involved with this club like I, I don't think they like that. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, like on the pitch, you get a bit of stick sometimes, like for a bad crossing or miss, you know, miss a shot or you have a shot from 30 yards when you should be laying it off or something like that. You'll get, you'll get stick, don't get me wrong, but. I think you know as soon as the final whistle goes, everyone's everyone knows that you know it's not we're not playing the Champions League. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, never. To be honest, I've had nice interactions in here. And going back to the fines for not coming in the clubhouse, I think you should come here. I mean, you have a nice nice conversation with the lads, be of togetherness, and obviously how much I was someone to support them as well. And that take time of the weekends to come to the games and watch us. At the end of the day, we, we got decent crowds to be honest. Three, I think we got like 300, which is pretty good for this level. And you know, we appreciate every single one of them. So, yeah. We've talked about your favourite goals and what have you, but which game this season have you enjoyed the most? Uh, I'd probably say 
either the uh, Carlisle way, probably. Score four, it's always nice. I knew you were going to say that, yeah. uh, Or um, Wick the Wickham home game. I enjoyed it because, like I said, I thought, that was, I thought we were going to have a really tough day and we ended up doing, doing really well. Or Benfield at home, probably. And it's always, it's always nice to score a few in one game, so I'd probably, I'd probably say one of, one of them three. For me, in terms of dominance, I think the best game was against Carlisle. Mm -hmm. uh, and to be honest, I thought that's probably the best game I've had here. Um, but we all played really, really well. Mm -hmm. we could, I, feel, I feel like we could have scored like, quite a few, even more goals than what we did. Yeah, they, they were they were on a good run of form then. Yeah. Um, but with the bet, definitely. The most enjoyable for me, obviously, I scored the two goals. Done an east slide. Um, <laughs> and it's been a really good victory in a really hard game. Yeah, I'd agree. I was going to say at the end there, I, I forgot about the Whitley Bay game, but that was, that was probably the, the most relieving because I yeah. felt we were quite, un, like, not under the cosh, but it was a really tight yeah. game first half, and then to go and then win the second half 4 0. Yeah, it was quite good. So what's changed from last season, post year? Alice Post, because you weren't here last season, uh, and uh, is the standard of the league so much better in the league above than the Northern League, or what, what's changed? Uh, I think I think the, the standard's definitely different. I wouldn't say like the standard of football amongst like the top ten is loads different, but I think the intensity of it is definitely different. I think. The, the club was in a funny position last year on and off the pitch so it was it was difficult to sort of have like a maybe a cohesive team with 16 lads all pulling in the same direction um, and I think it showed some you know we got some decent results but then just some some shockers really um, yeah we had three different managers last season that, that couldn't have happened it couldn't be easy never Never else. No. <laughs> one of those managers was only here for one game. It's a bit like Sam Allardyce when he left England with a hundred percent record. Did the players have any inkling what was happening there? Not clear. He was two games, wasn't he? Yeah, he was only official manager for one. The first one was supposed to be something to stand, but he muscled in. All right. Um, no, no idea. I think I think it was just probably a, a misunderstanding from both parties, really. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like the comment because I don't really know, to be honest. You've missed a couple of penalties this season, huh? It's, it's been, been mentioned once or twice. <laughs> do you as club captain make that unfair decision as to who takes some, or do the management team make that pretty much? No, I think um, there's, not like a, there's not like a set thing set out by Chris and Craig. For like corners and attack free kicks and stuff, we have like set pieces and things which is just set out. I think the penalty thing come from I mean the first the first six penalties we had, like I'd won them all, so I was like, well I'm taking it and then it was just a case of like, well, I hope to be the penalty taken out. Um yeah, the one the one against Whitley Bay was was a joke of a save some keeper his body Did, so um, do you reckon Harrison had done his homework on you then? I think so. I think so. Did he say um, to know what he was doing? Didn't yeah, I mean to be fair to him, like he did he did dive and then he's he's kept his hand like strong and high. It was it was a great save. Uh, um, but yeah, you're bigger than him, Andrew. Do you not fancy trying to wrestle a ball off him as a penalty? I don't. I mean, if I, I think if I wanted a penalty, he would give it to me. To be honest, because uh, he did ask me once if I wanted it, and I said just take it because he's on the man of the So should keep his confidence nice. And high. You should have tried him out. <laughs> so, yes. He's called me bluff. <laughs> he assists me enough with, with plenty of good cross and stuff, so he can have the penalties. You always seem to win all the, the fitness blink tests. Is that no giving you a run for the money since you arrived? Andre? Yeah. Oh, did you say Andre? What, Andre there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he does. Um, he does, and it doesn't, like, to be fair, there's, lo there's loads of lads that are really fit now, like. Um, John's really fit, Matty Wade's an absolute machine. machine. It? <laughs> just loves crossfit. Um, and Andre works dead hard in training, like probably one of the hardest workers I've seen in, in training. Um, so yeah, definitely everyone just pushes everyone really. It's, it's more a case of, of 
want to know if we want to be of a, of a standard fitness wise than you know one person be miles ahead. Are you a naturally fit person or do you have to work on it because you always seem to return for pre-season fitness player? Uh, I think I'm naturally naturally fit to an extent. I feel like if I didn't do anything for a while I'd, I'd know about it but I always I always keep myself right in pre-season like we always we always going on holiday in um, in May it's like a bit like a big family holiday and I always I always take the runs. I'm always out running on that on that holiday. So I keep myself right, definitely. Yeah. And being team captain, do the, do the management team include you in tactical decisions? Do, do they include you in the conversations? Uh, well, not 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 entirely. Um, we have like a like a group of, of lads that we sort of that have met with Chris Craig and Prof a couple of times. Um, to discuss various bits and pieces like how we think things are going or if we have any opinions of you know, what we could change or what we think we should implement um which is nice because you know some a lot of the time it's sort of the manager and you and then you just get told what what the crack is but this season we've we've had a bit of back and forth um not like personally but as a as a group of, of like players that that they would want to want to have their conversations with yeah how did they let you know that you were club captain? Did, did they tell you in front of the squad or did they take you aside? No, you told me in the interview. Someone told me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like me to find something out before you? Huh? I thought there'd be a little ceremony or something, mate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing about you being captain, man, being standing where I do in front of the desk rooms down there, when you when you stood in the doorway waiting to come out and you're holding the hand of a little mascot and you stand on the steps where you're bigger than him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he is trying to stitch me up and give me the tallest one. <laughs> oh, you'll find life at children and the post has been there a few years now. You've only been here about four months. You're obviously enjoying it. Oh, I love it. Uh, love this from the start. I mean, I hate the pre season because it was really hot. But uh, definitely love it. Yeah. Incredible set of lads. Definitely the best set of lads I've, been, I've worked with. And same goes for all managers and assistant managers. Uh, Fantastic, to be honest, I really love it. And I hope we do really well this season. Because I think the team definitely deserves it. I've been in a couple of teams that I wanted to win the league. And it wasn't quite the same <coughs> in terms of togetherness. And just love it. Really great. It must be nice not to have to wear thermals because you came here from Tower and it's a touch of you, right? Tropical down, isn't it? So, so what odds would the pair of you? Give a gambling person for shooting again promotion this season. Oh, you were a bookmaker, and I want to play us a bit. What are you giving me? Well, it'd be pretty at the minute. If you're going to bet in play, it'd be pretty short, wouldn't it? And um, looking at the lead table, but I, it's it's all it look. It's only it's only beginning of December. No one win the league in the beginning of December, so it's all you know. Doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter really. I wouldn't like to give you a number. Hundred to one. You'd have a pound on that. <laughs> hey, gambler man, Andrew, what odds would you want to put us in the bet? I don't know. I don't really gamble much, to be honest. But I would say it's definitely down to us. So we've got played. We've played most of the teams this season, and I didn't feel like there was any bad teams in us. So I think, yeah, I hope I, I would like to think we're one of the one of the favourites. Yeah, looking at the, when you look at the league, you'd, you'd be you'd be you'd be daft to say that we're not one of the favourites. But there's loads of there's some really strong teams like the Bishop obviously flying, um, Heat and Stan. I think they're going under the radar as well. I think they'll do really really well. West Auckland are coming good now. Um, there's obviously Red Crew starting to do well. Barely started like a house on fire. So yeah. there's a lot there's a lot that you know a lot that can happen between now and, and April. Long way to go, isn't it? Long way to go. Definitely. I know everybody wants to play at the highest level possible. I mean, you played in the league above Porsche for a couple of seasons. Would you have the time for that, for that league, Andre? I mean, it's a time consuming thing. Have you got a job that would allow you to travel down country midweek? Uh, I think I could adjust to it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I would love to play the league above with Sheldon. I'd love to get promoted and definitely look at staying here if that happens. Mm. Yeah. So we'll move on now to next April. Both here around 30 goals each. 
Okay? It's the last game of the season. The game's won. One of you is claimed the one goal, which is the key of the beat. The other one is running up the side. You've just got to roll it across for the tavern. Do you pass it or do you shoot? Shoot. 100%. <laughs> you know, boys is going to shoot me even after I ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> just depends how I feel on the date. Right? <laughs> depends where it is. Depends oh, where sure. it is. He's going to shoot, man. You shoot. Yeah. He was both shoot. Sure. I he mean, sure. even when he does shoot in, in certain uh, scenarios, as a striker, you, who's going to do it better than you? You know what I mean? Like, you, you play as a forward, so yeah, I probably should as well. You change the situation though, then yeah. you pass it all day long, hundred yeah. percent. But if you're saying it like that, games won three 0 whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not. Yeah, definitely. All centre forwards said they'll they? Wouldn't they? Yeah, if the dawn. You was Callum Shearer, but um, and Harry Kane, they'll all say they'll show. Of course, they will. I'm going. I'm going to finish off now with some teammates' questions. All I want from you is uh, from yours two is the name of a teammate to each question. You used to have the answer to any of the answers, by the way. Right. right? So we questions? can't. We can't be the answer. Right? You can't name yourself. Right. Yeah. Who's the best trainer at the club? Andre. Best trainer, John. John Weirs. John Weirs. Yeah. It's been who's... stumming out a little bit though. Sometimes does John. Who was the worst trainer? Us. Us. Two hundred percent. Who's the quickest? Again, I, I would... I might have said you, but I've just told you you can't answer, you can't say you. Yeah, it depends. I, I, I'd say Luke Spalding. Luke Spalding's definitely quicker than me. Yeah, Luke's definitely the quickest player I've seen. I'd back myself with the ball, though. That's what I always say. And I say, who's the quickest? <laughs> I'd say with the ball. Yeah. But Luke's rapid. Absolutely rapid. Who's the slowest? <laughs> I'm going to say John Williams. <laughs> That's a bit of no, that's just a bit of just a barrier. Uh, it's you just dead say Alex, do you? I'd say it's gotta be Alex. I think I think you're faster than Alex. Aaron or Alex gotta be one of them, so I would yeah. like to see a race. I yeah, I wouldn't be there all day. Alex would always catch you because you'll have a limp. Because <laughs> what? You'll have a limp. <laughs> yeah. Who's the joker? I'd say me. I would say me for that to be fair. As is very funny. As cracks me up loads. Um, yeah, I, I really funny. Everyone's everyone's funny. With some Billy Billy cracks me up for he's so funny. Like there's loads of like that you could you could you could say everyone, but I think I think that it would be me trying to get people with things. Yeah. Aaron and yeah. I think Aaron comes up with some things and just like can't believe what he says sometimes. So. Who's the hard man? Oh, Alex. No. <laughs> Alex. <like. laughs> Who's the most skillful? Um, I'd say I'd say John Weirs is John Weirs is very good with his with his feet. Um, as we mouth as well is very annoying to play. But he's against. skillful for a really tall lad, isn't he? He is. Yeah, he just. Like bundles his way through through people. Yeah, um, yeah he's very he's very. Uh, Leighton Harris Leighton's very very good with his feet. Very technically um, sharp. That's it. Um, I think Bossy. Am I allowed to say him? Am I allowed to say Bossy? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll let you know each other. Yeah, definitely Bossy. So this one's a really difficult one. Who's the most intelligent? I can't say me. No, you can't say you. <laughs> Wouldn't be right anyway, would it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, most intelligent. It's definitely not Banksy. No. Um, no. John's got a degree. He's working in uh, structural engineering or something like that. Um, I'd probably say John. John's got a bit about him, yeah. Do you agree with it? I tell you, I never really try to see how intelligent they are, but probably Billy or John. Um, I'm, glad to. I'm guessing there'll be a few contenders for this one. Who's the least intelligent? Oh, it's just the one, isn't it? Really? <laughs> Somebody will be catching you at the game, training on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
is where we need Kurt, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it gives Kurt a response. If I think Kurt's more intelligent, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> who's the best dressed? When you go out, who's. David who's Vincent. That's a good shout. Yeah? Yeah, David, David Vincent, Vincent yeah. yeah. And who was the worst dressed sense? <laughs> Gonna kill him. Alex White. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've only had one chance to see them and got to be bad ways. Henry, the Ben's not even bad. <laughs> <laughs> we just batter him, but Who's the best dancer? Billy. I knew you were going to say it. Billy. 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 Yeah. Billy should have been in Saturday Night Fever, shouldn't he? Oh, yeah. I think Layton's a good dancer. Yeah, Layton's a Billy. Who's, who's the worst dancer? Probably put me on for that, to be fair. I'd put, I'd put myself up there. Um, worst dancer? Fods is, is very stiff. <laughs> Matty Wade. That's a Matty, Matty Wade doesn't do it. He doesn't do it because he doesn't dance. He just sits there. Who's always late? Max. Max Allen. Yeah. Max is a shout. Um, I, I've, I've been there a few times this season. Um, I say this because I stand at the turnstile and I see you all come in. And I often say, like, Fine for you, son. Yeah, 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 <laughs> definitely. Yeah, def I'd say me or, or Max tends to be late quite a lot. I. Yeah. Who gets the most squad fines? Uh, pricey. <laughs> yeah. Pricey. Yeah, pricey, definitely. And which one of them could be a future manager? Alex. Yeah, Alex. Alex is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. Who's your best mate in the squad? Who do you, who do you get on with? I, don't, I never like this question because I feel like I get on with everyone really well and everyone for different reasons, so I'm not going give to you, give you a name there because I get on with everyone. Theo. Great answer. <laughs> <laughs> Copy base. <Yeah. laughs> it's hard. It's just like I said, everyone gets on. Like, we know just here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I like each other. We all like each other. We, I, could yeah. go, cause I could go sit anywhere in the change room and get on with them. And the question that all the ladies want to know the answer to, who's, who's the longest in the shower? <laughs> uh, who's the longest in the shower? Could you? 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 Could um, no, I don't. You could have the same answer. Couldn't have your answer. Yeah, I could have died. Like, I never really checked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go in the shower just for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're just going to have a small break, lads, and uh, we'll, we'll put the audience on here after the break. Right, yeah, no Cheers, lads. <laughs> right, we're just going to ask anybody if they want to ask the lads any questions. Has anybody got any? Hello, lads. Hello, Paul. Um, first one I've got, just like supplementary what Will's already asked, um, to Joe this one. Um, what's the difference between last season and this season? The way you're scoring goals this season and you weren't getting as many last season? Don't mention dishwashers. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, I, th I think it partly comes down to. Um, us as a team, I think we're, we're scoring more as a team. You know, last season it's difficult. You know, it's difficult to score a lot of balls in a in a team that's that's sort of sat at third, fourth, bottom all season, and that like that. It is what it is, and you know, I might say that you need somebody to pull you out of that, but you know, it's difficult when you're getting maybe two or three good chances at a game. For the team, you know, you might not get one all game. There was, there was games where last year where you know you 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 get the ball and in your own half having to having to beat two or three men to even get into their thirds. Do you know what I mean? So I think that's a big change. And I, you know, like I I wouldn't say confidence because I feel like I'm always confident on on the pitch. But I think like as a as a team, we're we're very front foot this year. So 
I feel like I get the ball a lot more in the final third, um, where I feel like I'm I'm more dangerous. So I feel like it's a combination of a few things really. Um, team doing well, being on the front foot, and being like an attacking team. Um, and also maybe it's just you know sometimes it's stroke of luck. A couple against you know Benfield, one one had quite a big deflection. The other one was practically on the line. I was captain, the line <laughs> Andre left on the line for me. So you know there's a, it's a mix of things. It's not that I couldn't say you know like I get out of bed this side instead of that side or whatever. I couldn't couldn't quite tell you the the difference, but yeah. Um. Well, most of our lads have noticed now, and I would hope to be more in tonight there, our goal celebrations. I mean, now every player except Mark gets involved. Um, is that a, a team instruction, or is it just that you feel so together that you all want to get involved? Uh, no, it's, it's, uh, not, there's not been a word for, about that from anyone. Um, that's, I think that's testament to uh, what... Chris and, and Craig and Prof have, have, have built really. Um, I'd like to tell you that it was the fact because I'm captain, but it's not. Um, <laughs> it's just purely that the, I think it's the, the togetherness. And you know, you see, you see on the video because it's quite zoomed out. You know, we'll score, and you'll see like Matty Wade sprinting over to the, to the far corner to come and celebrate. Usually, Jack Box is the last one. Foxy, there. Yeah, 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 Boxy loves it as well. Um, and then that's purely just. The, that's the the vibe of the team, the ethos of the team at the minute is we're all together pulled in the same direction and I think I think it shows on the pitch. Uh, I mean you won't hear it on the pitch. Um we have a wonderful DJ Deb who sometimes struggles with um names. <laughs> <laughs> <Names. laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, we've tried to teach him to say instead of your full name, yeah. just to shout Andre and let the crowd do the rest. <laughs> well, it took him. It took him eleven years to get village name right. <laughs> uh, I must admit, he does struggle with your surname, Andrea. Yeah. I think, to be honest, I think he's improved. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's because I was sat so next to him saying, Andrea. Andrea. <laughs> we'll do it Spanish style, where the announcer just says Andrea, and the crowd do the rest. Um, just another couple. Uh, we'll keep going, Paul. Yeah. Keep going. Um, we are hoping for promotion next season. I think Will's already touched on this actually. Um, what would it mean for both of you to get promotion, personal wise and team wise? It'd be fantastic for me to be honest. Probably one of the probably the best achievement I would have done at senior level, and I would love to to win it with this set of lads because I think we deserve it with how hard we work <coughs> and. Same with like the manager and you know Prof and uh, Craig, just would be fantastic to be honest. It'd be good for the club and the club deserves it as well. Yeah, I just I would echo exactly that. Um, I'd love for the lads. I'd love it personally, obviously, be be class to to get promotion. Um, but I'd also love it for the management because, you know, how hard the work um, and all the the hours they put in. And also the likes of yourselves, you know, away from from, from the pitch. Like for for you, you were there week in week out, home and away. Especially like last year when we were travelling all over. And um, my dad said he was speaking to someone the other week who would come straight off night shift, and then they were like spiking the pitch for for the Saturday, which is is class. Like the, yeah. The, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, so props to Dave, but um, yeah. So I think it'd be be class for everyone involved in the club, and, and especially like. I see so. Yeah, definitely Just a more, a more humorous one at there. Who's the first person that you would text after a match? Then mind your parents are usually here, so you're not be texting yeah, them. No. Um I speak I speak to John quite a lot about football. So me and John talk a lot about we talk a lot about other things as well, but we we discuss the team and how we're doing quite a lot. So it'd probably be probably be John, I think. Yeah. What are you wonder? I mean, I always discuss my football with my partner, to be honest. But uh, in terms of football, I've spoken to Joe a couple of times, Billy, um, a couple of other lads. Uh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely my family I speak about mm -hmm. the most. Yeah. 
Oh, you're gonna say we you text first in an emergency then? <laughs> that would be 100% Billy. <laughs> and then that is detective work, Billy. Yeah. Yeah, Wilf, again, we've Wilf already touched on this one. Then your life after football. Are you, have you taken your coaching badges, or would either of you would either of you be going to take your coaching badges? I am. I'm doing an interview. I've done one. I've done the. I don't know what it's called. The level one, like FA. The first, the real, the really first step I've done yeah. with the FA in Chester District. But like I said, it'd be assistant manager if I'd ever be mm. involved with it. Is it something you would both look towards? Uh, I don't know. It depends. It depends if something came up. I suppose. I suppose it would have to come to me. An opportunity would have to arise. I don't know. It's difficult to say. If I, if I, you know. You could go and just be like the you know the dwarf under his manager, he's just doing it off his own back, isn't he? And you don't get more badges or anything, you could just, just go in and do it that way, but I don't really badges too. Um again on the lighter side, we've seen throughout the season you've all brought in gifts for <laughs> Children Alive. Very random gifts. Yeah. Pasta one week and peas or beans. In your footballing career so far, what's the daftest things you've had to do? There's like forfeits rather than pay a fine. <laughs> we used to have Phil Brumwell, who he had to bring someone else's mother to the game, and he had to put a kiss on every. Susan, remember all these? You had to put you had to put a kiss on every text before you got a club fine. What's the daftest thing you've had in your short careers so far? To be honest, I've been lucky enough not to have any. I think half things are I've been lucky, so none for me. I think I think one of my daftest thing would have come this this year. To be fair, the the gifts like the the donation gifts. Oh yeah, um, toothpaste one game, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, baby food, baby food yes. the, the other week. Which I mean, for a five pound fine, or go and spend you know go out, go out your way to spend four pound on some baby food. I just took the fine, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just well, 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 better use of your time. I wouldn't yeah. believe how much does it good, how much good <laughs> it does. Oh yeah. When children alive, you see these things. Hundred percent. It's a, it's a joke, you know, a joke donation for oh, the, yeah, the players, but it, it, I know it is appreciated. Oh, that, uh, it's a it's a win win for oh, us because, yeah. like you say, we're either giving or or, or we're, we're in the players' pool. So yeah. yeah. So. yeah well, the last one I've got, we. Well, we haven't been beaten so far this season. Um, our only two defeats have come in cup games, which is from the supporters' point of view. We, we like getting, we like them cup games to get different teams here or travel to different teams. And it, it hurt the supporters a bit to get knocked out. What was the, the view from the players? I know you don't like losing any game, but what was the view from the players, particularly at them, them games that we lost at West and Nairs against Nairsburg? Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, we, we were exactly the same. Like we felt, we have a squad to go far, especially in the in the bars. Yeah. Um, so the bars was a tough one. Look, the game itself, I think it was a it was a it was a funny one as well. You know, we, we went down to ten men early on, and obviously with the with the double jeopardy thing, because because Price he's not, you know, he'd, he'd have been better off just wiping the lad out and, and and even going for the ball. And he couldn't have sent him off. But in the heat of the moment, like we're not gonna, you know, it is what it is. So we go down to ten men, and you know, one nil down against ten men, and and you know, for the first, you go back and watch the first eight, seven, eight minutes of that game before we went down to ten men. I thought, I thought we could get a half full here, um, and then it just turned on its head. The, the sending off killed the game, so that was really frustrating, especially to West as well. Obviously, a little rival, like it's not, it's not the best. Um, and then the Nairs were one again. That one was a was a funny one because sorry that was FA Cup wasn't it? The Vars are over against Nairs, right? Um, that was a that was a tough one to take as well because I thought we were the better side on the day as well. And obviously we had yes. a couple of chances as well, didn't we? I think Billy hit the bar, went back to one one. They scored straight away, which is again just poor from us. But it hurt us just as much as it as it did you really. So. Um, still there is me now. That's kind of hell. That's like three minutes, and they give a yes, the, free kick against me there, and they think it was a fault. No, it's the biggest lad on the pitch. Just fell down straight away. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely very disappointed with the FA bars and FA Cup. I think it was quite hard to yeah. do much yeah. in ten men for like 
80 minutes or something. Uh, yeah. 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 I'd like to say, Paul's passed his application to do my job the next time he knows what it is. You want to watch what you're doing? <laughs> Anybody else want to ask any questions? Would you like to ask your son a question? <laughs> Anybody like to ask a question? Michael Yes, we have. Come on, Michael. Obviously, I do a lot of the social media for the club and see the responses that come through on Twitter and, and Facebook and the rest. Who's the player who's the quickest on their phone to get on social media after a win? Oh, see, to see, us. Yes. To see, you know, who's retweeting the quickest or who's on there first. No, I mean, I like to get on first, like fast. Yeah. Together, I think all of us really. Yeah. Like, especially if you win a game, you want to see what's, you know, where the buzz is afterwards, and just go on Twitter, and especially if you score a goal, and yeah. you like two goals and Definitely. all that stuff. So I was just pretty quick tonight with that picture in the chair. Within, oh, within yeah. about fifteen seconds. Oh, yeah. I didn't Alex lost. <laughs> Alex, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I think it depends who's who's done well. To be fair, yeah. You know, probably, probably see yeah. like if I don't score, I'll probably won't do much, and then I'll retweet the ones that I scored. <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> yeah. I suppose like you know after the games, you check. You want to check like. Um, Scores like the scores yeah. the prayer and like and all that sort of stuff and then you have a flick through Twitter and that and then you'll give a give a couple of retweets and that. Um, but yeah, I, I would I wouldn't say there'd be one person. It it would depend yeah. on who's done well. Yeah. Uh, you probably know better than us actually, to be honest. <laughs> Anybody else like ask a question before we let the lads go? <clears throat> you must have one too. So. <laughs> 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 well, they sat there for an hour and a half, but let's give, give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you very much.